Yo, what's good everyone? This is AEO Boxing from Adiba, and we're here to talk about David Benavides fighting David Morrell. So news just broke that David Benavides will be fighting David Morrell sometime during the fall. This news was confirmed by Dan Raphael and is now the topic of discussion among the boxing community. Benavides vs Morrell is a very good fight. It's a fight that I've wanted to see at some point and it looks like it's finally happening. However, this fight announcement has stirred up controversy, mainly due to the fact that Benavides' team allegedly sent a contract to Canelo for a fight recently. This has caused confusion among boxing fans. Some believe that Canelo dug Benavides, therefore causing Benavides to fight Morel, while other fans believe that Benavides was clout chasing Canelo's name and never intended to fight him. There's a lot of conflicting information regarding the situation, and you can make arguments for both sides. There's a lot of circumstantial evidence to support the claim that Canelo is ducking Benavides. The rematch with Bavol fell through, so the majority of fans expected Canelo to fight David Benavides, who is a WBC mandatory and is the fight that the fans want to see the most, especially since news broke that Benavides' team sent Canelo a $50 million contract to fight. But instead, news broke that Canelo was in negotiations to fight Badu Jack at a catchweight for the WBC cruiserweight title, but that fell through as well. And then news broke again that Canelo was in negotiations to fight Jamal Charlo, a PBC fighter who hasn't fought since 2021. Based on all that information, it's easy to draw a conclusion that Canelo is avoiding Benavides. And to be honest, I started to believe this myself when I saw Canelo was trying to fight Jamal Charlo. I mean, Charlo is a good fight, and it dispels the narrative that Canelo is ducking undefeated black fighters, but Charlo is a PBC fighter and he hasn't fought in two years. If Canelo wanted to fight a PBC fighter, why not choose Benavides? It looks like he was choosing everyone else to fight except for Benavides, even though the Benavides fight makes the most sense from a logical, money, and legacy standpoint. However, there's always been a glaring issue in the narrative that Canelo is ducking Benavides, and that issue is the rumor that Benavides was planning to fight Morel after the Caleb Plant fight. This is something that I heard for a long time from Canelo fans. I wasn't sure if it was true or not because I never saw or heard a direct source until I saw the interview of Samson Lukowicz on YSM Sports Media, and shout out to him, but here's the clip. When I spoke to you uh, maybe about a month and a half ago, you said that it was more likely that David Benavidez would fight um, David Morrell as opposed to Caleb Plant. So what kind of changed? Because Morrell is mandatory. That was the reason. The WBA Monday is mandatory, so you need this mandatory, and that it delayed the whole thing. So we cannot fight every two months or three months. So can we expect that in late 2023, early 2024? We have a signed contract. Oh. So, so it will fight. And besides that... A signed contract that Morel is after. Morel will fight Benavides regardless. Immediately after. Hopefully after. If not, he will keep busy. But he's ready to fight because he won the fight. He's one of the fighters, Cuban fighters. He have no fear, and he, he make his decision that that is the fight that he won. Now, Canelo, it, it could happen in September, and if Canelo doesn't take the fight and Benavides win, so it be unification because I'm pretty sure that the WBC it will strip Canelo. That he is well deserved to get stripped. And this clip doesn't debunk the narrative that Canelo is ducking Benavides, but it does make me question the legitimacy of Benavides' claim that Canelo is ducking him. Because Samson is the manager of Benavides, and he clearly states that they have a signed contract with Morel for a fight ever since January. So that means they always had an intention to fight Morel sometime this year. Furthermore, Benavides will often talk about Canelo leading up or during a fight week, so it's easy to make the claim that Benavides is clout chasing Canelo, especially since Canelo is signed with Matchroom and is under the Zone platform, while Benavides is with PBC and Showtime, two different promotions and two different networks. However, Samson did say that the Canelo fight could happen instead, so this implies that there may be some type of stipulations to allow Benavides to pursue a Canelo fight and have Morel step aside. Regardless, this situation is messy and most people will pick a side rather than stick to facts and evidence. It seems like the popular opinion is that Canelo is ducking Benavides, and now you have Canelo fans trying to discredit and downplay the fight with David Moreau. 
I keep on saying this, but Canelo is getting the same type of hate and criticism that Floyd was getting. Two different fighters in two different situations, but they're being criticized for almost the same shit. Maybe Canelo and Floyd fans will have empathy and understanding for each other one day, but I doubt it. But that's besides the point. If Benavides fights Morel this fall, I'm putting my money on David Morel because I think he has the skills and power to deal with the speed and pressure of Benavides. But who knows, this is boxing. Anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AO Boxing with Madiba. Hit like and subscribe, and more content is coming your way.